That's so, not the type of Valentine's Day we're looking for. <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, we ain't looking for no Valentine's Day because no. every day should be a day like yeah, exactly. that. Exactly. You know what I mean? But, you know, <laughs> that's too corny. <laughs> we don't want that. You know I what I mean? We want random roses, you know, you know, on a random day. Dude, dude. You better be saving that up for Valentine's Day so that way I can show all my friends how look what he gave yeah, me on the you know 14th. What I mean? oh. you know, and then the next day. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking. <laughs> I know that's not funny, but that's what happens. Uh, but check this out. Talk about putting your foot in your mouth. I was talking to this girl, right? And we were talking about the men they like and mm-hmm. thing. And she was describing Adam Levine and person tattoos. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Boy, yeah. And I said, I don't like a girl with tattoos. You know, this is a girl I was flirting with a little bit. She had tattoos. Oh, she pulled a steam up. <laughs> 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 you know, she used to oh, smile no. at me and stuff. And yeah. All that. No, she doesn't anymore. <laughs> like, you know, who, uh, because I went into the big tirade about, you know who used to have tattoos when I was back home? The British sailors. <laughs> 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 and they were the biggest horn dogs on the oh, planet. No. They would come and try to sleep with any dirty little dog they see on the street. <laughs> <laughs> and she pulled her sleeve up. She goes, oh, I well, watched me mm. backpedal. I'm, 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 I'm talking about the sleeves, the complete sleeves and all like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I tried to make her feel a little bit better. You understand what I mean? But hey, you, know, you turned into Porky Pig with that. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, but, I, but but you see, she was describing this this uh, oh blam blam, and I was like, you see, that's why you're unhappy because mm-hmm. you ain't you ain't, you're not searching for a soul, you are searching for a body. Yeah, when you get the body and the body turn on you and the body decide to body you, <laughs> then you have a problem. You understand what I mean? And I know mm-hmm. people are gonna say he's laughing at abuse. I'm not laughing at abuse because she's not being in an abusive relationship. Mm-hmm. She's just talking about it. Yeah. And it's funny to me that she's talking about it, even though I'm standing here telling her, mm-hmm. and me being older than her, yeah. telling her some stuff about well, and, and Well, and you don't have to be in an abusive relationship for it to be bad either. If I the know. other person is just not paying attention to you, yeah. not treating you well, you yeah. know, and those sort of things, I mean, it's uh, that's not any good either. You know, you know, if old dude's trying to act like, man, I'm too cool for you, but yeah, I'll let you walk next to me. Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm telling you, that's man, when girl that, needs to walk. You know, the uh, other, direc- you see, the you other know, direction. Check this, out, check this out. But they like that song. That boots were made for walking. One of these days, I'm going to walk all over you. But they never walk all over anybody. Well, they wait to walk all over somebody until when they can find that next dude that's going to make them jealous. Because, you know, Lord knows they can't be alone for a little bit of time. So, you know, instead of it being okay, well, I'm going to use these boots to walk the other direction away from you. No, no, no. I'll walk next to you. It'll be fine until I can hopefully find that next guy that's make you going to go, what? And it's usually a nice (laughs) guy. And it's usually a nice nerdy guy that gets his butt kicked. (laughs) (laughs) No, I've noticed some girls try to use me because I'm seven foot one. Mm -hmm. But the minute the the boyfriend come and he's angry, I turn and walk away and I don't I don't back him up. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, I'm not even getting a hug. And you want me to stand here and get punched? I don't think so. (laughs) Or 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 or, or punch somebody and end up in jail. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? That's what you Wow, well, meanwhile, she's still staying at home with that man. You know what I who mean? Who punched you going, oh, isn't he wonderful? Yeah, he decked that big dude you know, for, yeah, for me. Yeah, oh. a manly man. No, it's time for makeup Bangala. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're hoping to stay away from Bangala. You know what you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. And, and another thing, too, people, whenever you are... Oh, man, I lost my friend Trina thought, right? They was laughing so hard. <laughs> Now, like, that hasn't happened to us before. You know, <laughs> you get into these, okay, the alpha male thing. Mm-hmm. You understand? I don't understand the whole alpha male stuff. Yeah. If a dude is that self-centered, he's going to be self-centered in the relationship, too. Oh, yes. And another thing, too, we talk <clears throat> about this a lot. Stop. You don't have to work for love. I work to get paid so I can pay my bills. You understand what I mean? Yeah. If I want a job, I'll go to the unemployment office and ask for one. Mm. Dating you is not a job. I ain't got to go break my back for you to love me. It's supposed to be, it's like, supposed well, to be natural. Well, I've got this nine to five, but then I've got this the rest of the day job. Yeah, you I... know what I mean? <laughs> I, I work eight hours and I go home and I work what? How many is that, 14? Oh, man. Not, not 12? 
Yeah. I don't know. Depending on how you sleep, maybe you got to work during that too. You know what I mean, honey? I'm, I'm trying to get some sleep here, man. You know? No, but you got to pay attention to me. No, yeah. no, no, that's an extra eight-hour job is leave 16 hours. 60, oh, man. And most of the times you don't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> you get nagged. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you know what I mean? And I, You know, I, I, there shouldn't be a honey-to-do list. You should know to do that list anyway. Mm. Why she got to do that? You, you put yourself in the position for that. But love is not a battlefield either. Stop with the, you know, the, the, you know, you act like you, you got to fight for love. It's, a, it's like an oxymoron to have the word fight and love in the same situation yeah. in a relationship. Yeah. What am I fighting for? You know what I mean? Nobody should be fighting for anything. Nobody shouldn't be fighting wars either. Must just yeah, yeah. a relationship <clears throat> and fight for it. Yeah. Fight? Dude, when I was getting divorced and, and, and I heard the, the thing, I said, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't being mean It's like yeah. hey You know what I mean I am not fighting We're not supposed to fight We're supposed to just chill out mm-hmm. Figure out what's <clears> going <throat> on <throat> and, and, and try to work on it yeah. If we're not doing that Then there's no fighting to be had Life is and People say life is too short To not be happy No mm-hmm. life is too long to be miserable <clears throat> You live 80 years tops yeah. Most people A lot of people do That's a long time to be miserable It is you know And you know what I mean? And And, and even just being mad at anything else, you know, yeah. forget forget about relationship stuff. Being mad at something else. If you've let it drag on even a week, you get to the end of that week and you're exhausted. Exhausted, mentally. Even if, yeah, even if you haven't done anything, <clears throat> like say physically, you yeah. know, you haven't gone running a ton, you know, or yeah. or you've got some really labor intensive job. You get yeah. to the end of that week and you're just like, man, why am I so tired? Yeah, it's like well. You're angry all the time, so you're probably not sleeping that well either. Yeah. During the day when you're at your actual job, you're thinking about whatever's making you angry too, yeah. which then adds stress onto your job because now you're not getting things done at your job that you yeah. probably should be doing. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with you on that. I mean, it you you really just keep going to where you go, man, yeah. I'm just I'm uh, just I'm just too tired anymore. And stop <clears> with <throat> the Facebook crap. You know, you get on Facebook, my amazing boyfriend. You know what I mean? And I, I, I'm seeing women the other do side a lot. too. Yeah, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of guys on I've, my page. I've seen that. a little bit of that, and and, and, know, and, 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 and even in relationships where I'm going, really, dude, come on. You man. know what I mean? My amazing, <laughs> my, my 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 fabulous, and then yeah. two weeks later, man, I hate that son of a blah yeah. blah blah blah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and stop having your 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 crumbling relationships played out on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Because the funny part about it is nobody on Facebook want, they, they want to see the drama, the negative drama. Mm-hmm. They're not going to come in and they hang in there. Some of them will come in there and it's tongue in cheek. Mm-hmm. But when I, these days, I'm praying for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the look on this dude's face <laughs> when I said that. <laughs> that, 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 that praying for you stuff is the most annoying bloody thing in the planet to me. You're praying. Look, you there, there, I mean? there are things that I will legitimately understand. When you say, "Hey, pray for me on this," yeah, but I'm sorry. I... It's kind of like you know, <laughs> hey, your boyfriend hit you. I'm gonna slap the air and knock him out. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> I'm gonna just wait behind in the air. I'm gonna, gonna pray gonna that some. Out. I'm gonna pray that somebody else knocks him out. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I just throw, I just shadow box and he gonna hit the floor mm-hmm. like a, like a t- like a tree in the forest. You know, that's what prayer, th- I'm going to pray for you, tells me. Yeah. You know what it's I mean? going to look like uh, Chuck Bednarik standing over Frank Gifford. Yeah. Google that. Look it up. You know, <laughs> the thing about it is I've seen people having problems with a relationship. And there is, and I'm, and it's women because I have, I have way more women on my Facebook page than I do men. Oh, really? You trying and, uh, to? You're just like, <laughs> hey, look at me over here, you know? Yeah, most so, of them are married, so no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you know, but here's the thing: while they're arguing with the boyfriend, <laughs> there's a dude. <laughs> I'm oh. looking for a good girl like you. <laughs> I'm here in the middle. <laughs> In the middle of this woman and the husband arguing, mm. there's a dude asking her for a date. <laughs> She's obviously hurting. And what do you want to do? You want to smooth, you want to slip right on in mm-hmm. there and go, baby, I could be better for you. He wants to pack you know, it you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm that, that, you. That's, that's another thing, okay, is while, obviously, while we're doing this, 
Valentine's Day, which is now going to be a double episode. We've let this go long enough. But um, <clears throat> people can't stay out. Okay, if somebody's in a relationship, may stay out of it as yeah. far as like like that, what you're saying there. Yeah. You know? I Okay, if I see a girl walk by and I go, wow, she is beautiful, and then somebody says, oh, that's so-and-so's girlfriend or, oh, that's so-and-so's wife. Ah, darn it. Yeah. Man, why can't she be single? Yeah. You know, but instead, how many guys do we know go, hmm, hey, what's that got to do with me? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I, I, I where, was, where, uh, where'd she go out? Dude always go out with her? Yeah. I'm a, mm. yeah. <clears throat> a friend of mine's uh, <clears throat> hugged me one time, and then she walked away, and dude is like, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. They start doing all that alpha meal. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, that eat crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, and she walks <clears throat> away. <clears throat> When she walked away, he started doing that, and he said, yeah, man, you got to, uh, I said, that's my friend's wife. And he go, oh, what, is, uh, what does that matter? I said, it's yeah. my friend's wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm friends, I've known both of them for 20 years. Mm-hmm. And you, I, I just walked away, man. I got I got a flash of anger right there, and I just walk away. Because I am so <clears> sick <throat> of people coming up to me and telling me, you're single, you should be, uh, yeah. you're married, you shouldn't <clears throat> even be thinking like that. I've, I've had, I've had uh, well, for one, I did have a, uh, a gay guy tell me that he was disappointed in me during, that I didn't experiment during my college time. And I said, what is there to experiment with? You know you don't like something. You, yeah. There's some things you don't have to you know, try yeah, you to know. know you don't like it, okay? I know I don't like mm-hmm. cocaine. They don't see me trying that either. Yeah. <laughs> no, you haven't tried it yet. I don't need to. No. Now, there are some things that I will argue, like if somebody says, oh, I don't like that kind of food. Have you had it yet? No. Yeah. There are some things that are a little different yeah. like it. But, but there but, are some other things like, not hey. Not that kind of love. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. And, and, and listen, listen. Well, but, but, not... but, but still at the same time, though, too, same thing, me being single. Yeah. I've had a lot of people tell me, it's like, man, you're single. You should be loving it. You should be living it up. I'm like, that's not yeah. me. I, and, you know, before we even continue, because you know, uh, the politically correct people are going to go, oh, they don't like gay people. No, 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 no. Just like uh, white people say, hey, I've got best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have been for I look the the one guy that I'm talking about that that I said uh said that he was disappointed in in me and my college experience. I worked with him for a few years, still friends with him on Facebook and I mean he and I were good buddies. I yeah. mean, I had no problems working with him. Yeah. And you know, and and honestly, especially while I was trying to learn that job, if they said, "Hey, I'm going to send you what the heck, I'm going to say his name. I'm going to send you with Jay today." I was like, Sweet, yeah. Because now I'm really gonna be able to because know the, and learn more about this job. The, the also, he was he was fun to work with. Uh, also, the stay away is, from me with that stuff. Yeah, but he was fun to work with. The point is, people are people. I don't care who you are. You yeah. could, you know, it doesn't really matter. Period. Mm-hmm. You know, the point is, you got to respect that. That's not me. Yeah. As I respect, that's you. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. You know okay, I mean? well, then even... Uh, and they need uh, to get rights. <clears throat> and they deserve to mm-hmm. get married because it, love is love. It doesn't really matter. Well, remember me even talking about, you know, one girl that I hung out with a lot that everybody was swearing up and down yeah. something was going on. She had a girlfriend. Yeah. I wasn't trying to move my way yeah. in and say, hey, let's just slide this other yeah. girl out of the way. No, she and I just got along really well. Yeah. You know, and <clears throat> here's something else, too. And people are always talking about, like, like uh, gay... Uh, marriage and relationship is not real. I ain't never heard what gay person tell another gay person that that stuff is corny. <laughs> they do all kind of stuff for each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like nice, sweet <clears throat> stuff. And I ain't mm-hmm. never hear one say, oh, that's corny. Yep. Yeah. But we hear them straight women telling us yeah. that the stuff we do is corny. <clears throat> uh-huh. <clears throat> <laughs> is that what I'm saying? I'm s- so, hey, sorry, I'm still not going to go call a guy. All right. <laughs> I mean, just so I don't have to hear anymore. That's not that's that's corny. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and it's funny. Actually, the guy that I used to work with, he he would always. There was one day he he was like, "Oh, don't don't ever fall in love with me." And I looked at him and I said, "Dude, I don't care how long I've been single. Yeah. I'm never gonna call you like yeah. that." And he's, like, "Oh, what are you trying to say?" I'm like, "Man, you just told me don't ever fall in love with me." And now I'm, you know, yeah, like, I can't. Responding. Come on, you know what I mean? You know, I, but, I, I have told women <laughs> that. <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I have said you, you don't lose lotion, you don't date me. <laughs> I told one that, okay, now before any of you start thinking like what you said on one post, I'm not Roy Moore, okay? So when I say an age difference here, I'm not going that far yeah, down, all yeah. right? But I, t- I told one, I said, hey, 
I got a problem with the age difference. Yeah. And she said, well, I don't. I said, yeah, well, I do. Yeah, yeah. This isn't going to change. Yeah. No matter yeah. how many times she tried, guess what? I didn't string her along and make her think, oh, yeah. at any moment I'm going to go out with her. No, yeah. I kept saying, you know I have a problem with this. Yeah. This isn't going to happen. And I tell you what, it doesn't matter what uh, nationality, what color, mm. what whatever you want to call it. See, because I've had instances where people mm. say, oh, I wouldn't date you because you're black. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then I had to prove a point. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she hey. didn't say that to me. She said <clears throat> it about somebody else. Hey, remember a certain black friend of ours yeah. who said that he would never date a black woman. Yeah. And yeah. I looked at him and said, so I've dated more black women than you have. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked at me, he goes, what? And I said, four of them. He goes, oh, my God. Like, yeah, yeah, what? Was like, How did you handle that? <laughs> That's like, what? what? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. I and forgot so, that he said yeah, that. Yeah. Like, Brother, please. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> what? Because, see, he was he was a football player. So yeah, he yeah, was yeah. dating those uh, <clears throat> jersey chasers. Mm-hmm. So they were giving them trouble. Yeah. You can find you a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> But, but but check this out. Check this one that said that about this other brother. Said, I'll never date a black man. I was like, oh, really? Now, this girl, this girl thought she was uh, she was uh, Jessica Simpson uh, because mm-hmm. she had the hair and she clad out and she high mint and she blam, blam, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, really? So I started, you know, doing some Caribbean uh, vibe mm-hmm. or, you know, uh, dropping the little poetry. You know, and nothing like that ever happened. After about a week... She was sitting next to me. Mm-hmm. She had colored the hair. What do you think of the hair? Then she started flirting with me mm-hmm. and started going back and forth and thinking. I'm like, then I just stopped. <laughs> cold. <laughs> yeah, you cold, cold man. You cold. And, and the place we were working one day, the big boys, the district manager and stuff was in, mm-hmm. and she just walked by me. There was like a week of just ignoring the street. <laughs> <laughs> she walked by and she called me an a-hole <laughs> in front of the big boys. <laughs> really loud, too. I was like, what? You wouldn't date me? Uh, you know what I mean? I'm oh, too chocolate man. for you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, that's just a little levity in the whole thing. But you know what? You all should treat each other right. Mm-hmm. You love every day, not just on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. And I know some of you can say, well, I do. You know, you're gonna have spats, but if you if you're dating your best friend, you could actually sit down and talk about it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The acquaintance zone, nice guys, you all need to employ. You all need to use that sometimes. I'm mm-hmm. not saying all the time, but you're gonna you need to use that. Yeah. Women, there's a difference between a nice guy and a weak man. Mm-hmm. You understand? Who, who you taking advantage of is a guy who is gotten low self esteem. And you know what? I will uh, I will admit that was me. Yeah. That was me. I will definitely admit that. You know, I. I know I got taken advantage of yeah. several times. Yeah. And then luckily with talking with this one sitting <laughs> right here, I finally realized, you know what, that is pretty stupid. Why am I doing this? Yeah. This 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 is causing me nothing but problems. Yeah. So you know, yeah. pump the brakes on that you one and, and, and stop and it. it. And it's easy <clears throat> to like just be maintain mm-hmm. m- maintain yourself than to uh, and I uh, stop and you know what I will say this it it sucks to be alone yeah but I'd rather be alone than dealing with somebody who is just using me yeah. as emotional concubine so whatever yeah 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 exactly or then obviously in a destructive relationship oh, yeah. that you know is is not going to go anywhere yeah. I'm I'd much rather be alone oh, yeah. than be in something where you're going, oh, I get off work in five minutes. Man, I really don't want to go home. Yeah. You know. I, 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 no, 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 no. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, yeah, we got to stop. We got to start. I stop paying attention to, to you know. I, I Here's another thing. Who, I think it's Chris Rock that says it. When you meet somebody, they send a representative. <laughs> They don't come as themselves. You know, when you make somebody work for it... I got a good story for this when you're done. When, when, when you make somebody work for it, they're not being themselves. They're pretty much being what you want. So once you get into the relationship, there's no recourse. They have to go back to being themselves. They cannot pretend for the rest of their mm-hmm. life to be something that you want. How, so how, how, many, how, women, many, how many times have we heard somebody say, yeah. you know what, they really changed who they were? Yeah. Whether it's a guy saying it about the girl or the girl yeah. saying it about the guy. They didn't change. They just went back to being themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you could uh, red and I've, flag. I've, remember, you, we could oh, have yeah. a red flag show here soon. Oh yeah, you know? I got I got a yeah. I got a funny story as far as changing. Oh, they changed who they were. 
Um, this is a recent story that was told to me, and I'm not going to divulge any names because this is pathetic but hilarious. Um, so a friend of mine's tell me about a friend of his who's been dating this girl. And they'd been dating for a while, but she recently broke up with him. And good enough reason as to why. You know, he changed who he was, I guess if you want to call it that. Um, he's addicted to this one video game that I think a lot of people might know right now that they're all addicted to called Fortnite. I haven't got a clue what it is, and I really don't yeah. care. But he was so addicted to it that she took him to go meet her grandparents at dinner. And they're sitting there at dinner with her grandparents, and he pulls out his phone and starts playing Fortnite. How <laughs> sad and disrespectful <laughs> And pathetic is that. I mean, really. I mean, okay, when I got told this story, I started cracking up. I'm like, wow, that is funny. Like, I mean, yeah. sad, but funny. I mean, really, you're going to sit there with her grandparents and pull out your phone and just go, mm-hmm, 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 just start what? playing video, what? start playing <laughs> video games. I don't care if it's Fortnite or something else. You're playing video games. Yeah. You and I have even talked about how it's kind of disrespectful if you're on a date with somebody and you're constantly on your phone. Yeah. Whether you're texting somebody or Snapchatting yourself or Instagram so that you can show everybody yeah. what you're doing. Like, you're supposed to be paying attention to that person that you're there with. Yeah. And obviously, if you're there meeting their family members, yeah. they obviously think highly, uh, highly enough of you to say, yeah. hey, these are my grandparents. Yeah. These are my parents. This is yeah. my aunt and uncle. These are my co-, You know, whatever. Yeah. And you're going to sit there and pull out your phone and start doing something See, else. I, 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 okay. This was just a friend. <clears throat> so I went to lunch with her, uh, a co-worker friend. And uh, I pick up my phone and I turned it off. And she asked me, what am I doing? I said, I'm turning off my phone. Mm-hmm. And she looked really shocked. <laughs> no, I, what I think is she probably thinking, ooh, you probably just want to date me or something. Mm-hmm. Said, no, if I want to sit here, <clears throat> excuse me, if I want to sit here and talk to you, that's the point of us going to lunch. We sitting here and talking to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not you on your phone and I'm on my phone. What's the point? I could stay mm-hmm. home and be on my phone. Yeah. You know, Grant, and she had her phone out, but she saw me turn mine off. Mm-hmm. Now, she didn't pay attention to her phone after that, but I had to tell you this? Yeah. What? Okay, for one, obviously, if it's anybody younger, especially younger than us, they have pretty much grown up with a phone being attached to them. I mean, how many times do we even see kids running around who constantly have a phone in their hands, yeah. watching videos or whatever? I mean, there's just always this thing in their hands. I see They're, babies come in the grocery store or work, and they're sitting in the car just playing on a phone yeah. while their parents shop. You know what I mean? I, no. I, I, do, I do remember one time um, my sister telling me about uh, Kai and my, my oldest nephew when he was still really little. He'd gotten a hold of uh, McCain, who's his dad. You know, my brother-in-law got a hold of his phone. And McCain grabbed it back and goes, well, I think Kai just bought something. My sister said, well, it wasn't. He goes, I don't know. We'll figure it out when it shows up. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, so, it, uh, so I mean, unfortunately, with younger people, they've grown up with these things, and I just picked mine up, attached to them, yeah. basically. Yeah. They don't know how to put it down. And so it cracked me up. To, uh, I forget what kind of phone this is. It's got this new feature where you flip it over on its face, and it automatically turns itself on silent. Yeah. You have buttons on the side where you can turn the thing to yeah. silent. Yeah. Are you telling me that you're too lazy that you can't go, okay, let me turn this thing on. There's my silent button. Let me mute this thing. Okay, I'm done with you. Or put it, or leave yeah. it in your pocket for yeah. crying out loud. Yeah. You have to... Because, first of all, it still allows for you to pull this thing out all the time, Yeah. no matter who you're around. Oh, wait, I really do want to pay attention to you. Oh, let me flip this thing over on its face. Yeah. And, and, it, and, it's, it's almost like you have to show the person, Yeah. I'm here to pay attention to you. Yeah, baby. I mean, you I mean, I guess I mean? essentially with the, with the girl you were hanging out with, it was the same thing. It's yeah. like, I, you, for you to understand this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, whoa. yeah. You know. Whoa, but uh, we've been but, going for a while here, yeah, man. You know, yeah, we still we still have a few minutes left. Oh, but okay, I mean, cool, it, but cool. I mean, as far as just like, man, pay pay okay, pay attention. Yeah, pay attention to them. You know, okay. If you're watching a football mm. game and they ask a question, you can mute it and talk to them. You know what? Man, I'll turn it off. I'm I am actually very good. And and several of my friends know this, that I can watch a football game, know what's going on in the game. 
and still have conversations outside and know what's going on in the conversation. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, huh, huh, you know. I, there may be the occasional sentence where it's like, wait a minute, what did you just say? Yeah. But I haven't missed the entire conversation. Yeah. I don't know how many times, even with old friends of mine, that obviously while I've been here and they've been somewhere else, we call each other on a Sunday or something like that, sitting there, you know, having this long conversation. Yeah, we haven't talked in a while, and it's like, man, man it's Sunday. Aren't you watching football? Yeah, I've been watching it the entire time we've been talking. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, and then I'll say something about what's been, man, it's been a really good game. Like, but, And you've still been able to talk to me? Yes. So yeah. you I, can multitask. And, 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 and that's not even, now I'll turn the volume down so that yeah. way, Obviously, whoever's on the phone is not just hearing all the volume from the TV screaming back at them. But I, I, I can do that. I can watch a game and pay attention to it as well as pay attention to who's there with me. Heck, just watching the Super Bowl, yeah. sitting there with you and Anthony. Had absolutely no issues being able to carry on conversations with the two of you and still know what's going on yeah. in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I might have missed a few commercials, but who cares about that? Yeah, who cares about more on five and them on half? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we 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 left the TV on, but we hit mute when that came on. Uh, but I mean, but but that's what I'm saying though, as far as paying attention, you know, uh, just pay attention to that to that person. Yeah, you know, I mean, it just it can definitely help solve some problems. Oh yeah. Now, for some of you out there, and unfortunately, this is mainly women. Don't expect them to be a mind reader. You know, you you keep hearing women say something about we don't communicate, we don't communicate. Well, when you also don't say yeah. something, that's not communicating either. Yeah, I'm not a mind reader. As my as my dad, I think I think it was somebody my dad work worked with used to say, "Look, I'm I'm not a mind reader. I don't work off a radar. You have to tell me what you want." And yeah. this was somebody saying this at his job. Yeah, you know, like telling the boss, "I I don't know what you want. You have to tell me what you yeah. want." And this is the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. if something's wrong, tell me. Yeah. Tell ladies, me. Ladies, I will pay attention to the conversation. Tell me what's wrong. Ladies, I might be from the Caribbean, but I don't know voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't throw a bone into the dirt and say, oh, she wanted me to take the garbage out. Yeah. <laughs> Toss that bone. Oh, she's tired to that. You gotta yeah. tell me something. Yes. You know what I mean? Communication you know? is a two way street. Like I yeah. have told somebody when they say, Yeah, I haven't heard from you in a long time. You haven't called me. I'm like, Well, you haven't called me either. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, Yes, I, phones I, I, do work two and ways. That, and that goes by with, with <laughs> girls too. You know, they sit there waiting, 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 waiting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's come on now, you know? I, 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 all right. A lot of girls think they, they consider me a nice guy. Mm hmm. Until I put the clamp, I'm gonna go. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Then they go. I thought you was a nice guy. Yeah, I'm nice, not stupid. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's when you get dropped in the acquaintance zone. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. Well, you know, I'll see you in about six months. <laughs> Check on you in a while, unless you really, 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 yeah, really, really. You know really. What I mean? And I'm not talking about if you're in jail because you murdered somebody. Don't call me, okay? <laughs> don't make me be your one phone. You call. know what I mean? No, don't do that. You know what I mean? Because if you do it, uh, you know, you, you know, you shouldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, what I mean? unless that person is like in imminent danger mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I could understand, but don't go say he cheat. <laughs> nah, we ain't going there. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Thing, but you know, uh, look, it's, it's Valentine's. Chill out. And make Valentine's be the lasting thing for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. Not just, you know, oh, let me let me send some flowers at work. And everybody, all you would go, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, oh, oh. And then you go home and you're yelling at each other. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, stop the Facebook <clears throat> relationships, man. You know, nobody has to know mm -hmm. that you're dating. Because I tell you what, like the little town we live in here, if you're married to somebody, that means the whole town is married to them. But you could control that and not have them in your business. Yuck. <laughs> and that, that, you know what I mean? You see them type of people in your business, boy. Oh, <laughs> you know, the drunks. <laughs> <Just everything. Yeah. laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody is like, I mean, like, you know, even where I work, a couple of people are starting to date and everybody's in it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they so, you know what always cracks me when people see two people? Okay. 
okay, two people are talking, but the girl is flirting with me, mm -hmm. and they're coming up to me and like, ooh, they make such a good couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's splendid what, couple, boys. That's, splendid. That's going to last. Yeah. <laughs> well, a couple of them lasted, you know what I mean? Oh, but, good. But, but, good. But, but they had split up and come back, split up and come back, oh, split up and come yeah, back. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? But, uh, you yeah, know. You know, another thing as far as the Valentine's Day stuff, look, and we'll do another show about this sometime, especially when we talk about the music that we play yeah. on, on our actual Rude Boys radio show, uh, where we talk and play play music. Yeah. Three three hour show, usually about an hour talking, two hours of music. But real love songs, yeah. okay? Yeah. None of this, you know, as you were saying, bang a lao, steal your girl, I want yeah. the neighbors to know my name, all that sort of stuff. No, 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 no. Real, real, real love music. Yeah. You know, yeah. real real soul with that i mean it's just not nasty yeah you, you know? know and everybody yeah. wants to say oh that's baby making music i'm like no this is love music yeah. your stuff is the one where you wake up the next morning and go oops yeah and baby making is not <laughs> so many people have they make babies and they're not in love mm -hmm. so you can't call it baby making music and expect the dude especially some of the dudes we know to think yeah you, you think in love uh -huh. they're thinking you know it's bangalang bangalang bangala mm -hmm. you know Nuff, nuff, toti, a sling. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? <laughs> and then you're going, oops. You know, Americans are going, <laughs> what? What are we talking about? <laughs> Religions are going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, but so we'll have another show where we, we actually show talk like about that. real, real love songs with that sort of thing. But hope you all enjoyed yeah. what is now a uh, a double episode. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, but hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, keep staying tuned with uh, the Rude Boy Rant podcast. Uh, we'll have more episodes coming up for you. And um, March 2nd is our next actual radio show where we'll do the talking and we'll have the music too. So that way, if you want to tune into that, uh, it gets streamed online, www.marshall.edu slash WMUL. It'll be on stream one. That way you can hear these two voices yeah. again, as well as the music that sometimes in these podcasts we'll refer to and even sometimes in the podcast actually talk about yeah. the stuff that we play. Yeah. So, And also, also, the Dirty Immigrant has got a documentary Ooh, that yeah. should be uh, airing here soon on a, I do believe it's a PBS station uh, the tentative date for it is March the 1st uh, to find out more you go to wv.public.org right. and uh, mm. it's pretty much about an immigrant in Appalachia Oh and it's part of the Appalachian series that they that they they, they do. So you know, check that out. Right. Thing, you know what I mean. And, and as uh, far as me, I don't have a documentary coming out, but I'm always making all kinds of especially softball videos because yeah. you know, softball season's coming up. Uh, we're also down. He's we're down to the softball games. Yes, exactly. We're down to only three days until season starts. So we're we're yeah. recording this one on fe February 5th. Season gets started on February 8th in San Diego. I, I will be calling the games when we're on the road. Um, exciting times with Marshall I, Softball. I, Always love it. So And you go to the same uh, website? The same place, yes. It could be Stream 1 or Stream 2, depending on what else is going on as well. But just check out the streams. Um, you can obviously check out their Facebook page as well or on Twitter. Facebook is Marshall University Softball. Twitter is at HerdSB. And um, we've got a lot of followers. I love it. Thank you all for the support on there, too, because I love telling the story about that program. Always making videos uh, for the girls, you know, whether it's the players we have now, players from the past, all that, you know, great moments, those sort of things. And also, too, thank you to all the support for, on the Rude Boys. Yeah. We know some of you have been listening to us for years. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We yeah. always appreciate that. So. And also, tell them the... the the Facebook page and the Twitter page and stuff. Um, I could never remember. <laughs> the root, the on Facebook it's the Rude Boys. Uh, Rude Boys is all one word, and uh, Rude it's spelled just like you think. R U D E. And then if it helps you to think of how to spell boy, boys, you know, or for you Americans, buoys, I guess. I don't know. B U O Y Z. Yeah. The Rude Boys, and then of course on Twitter it's the same thing at the Rude Boys, and that's all one word. Yeah. So, so go up because you're missing out a lot if you're not on yeah. our Facebook page. On Twitter, that's where we may eventually get to doing more on Twitter. But at least for right now, that's where we put up a lot of what we play yeah. on the show. The music and all that. The artists, the names of the songs. So that way, if you want to know more about who we play 
on the show and the music, why we play it, you can go check it out That's there right. on Twitter. It, like I said, it's got the name of the artist and the name of the song, so that way you can look it up. Yeah. And because uh, we obviously we play a lot of great people. Yeah. You know, great storytellers, whether it's rap, reggae, R and B, soca, old soul, calypso, even some blues in there. Afro pop. There we go. British and uh, you know what the thing is, pop in some other countries is not like pop here. No. Where it's not just mind numbing schlop. Yeah. They can still tell a story yeah. and pop music in other places. Yeah, like Quab. Yeah, and we find that and we play it on yes, the Rude Boys radio show. Yes, so anyway, I. hope you've been enjoying the podcast. And remember, never let that system get you down. <laughs> <laughs>